Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and welcome to my channel, Cherish Memories Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these adorable turkey coasters. They measure about four inches tall, five inches um, wide. I used a six millimeter hook except for the beard and the beak I used a four millimeter. You can either use yarn or these um, bubble eyes like I did. And we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to start out with my six millimeter hook. I've already done my slip knot. And now we're going to chain three. And now we're going to slip stitch in that very first chain we did. And we're going to chain one and we're going to do 12 double crochets right in the middle there. So go ahead and finish that up and I'll meet you when I have all 12 of my double crochets. Okay, I've got all 12 of my double crochets. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to slip stitch on top of that first double crochet we did. Just like that. And we're going to chain one and we're going to go right back into that same space and we're going to do two double crochets. Now we're going to jump over to the next stitch and do two more double crochets. Jump over to the next stitch and do two more. And you're going to do two double crochets in every stitch around. And you should have 24 double crochets at the end of the row. And I'll meet you here at the end of the row when I get all 24 of my double crochets. Okay, I've got all 24 of my double crochets. Now we're going to slip stitch into the very top of that double crochet. You're not going to um, just, this right here is your chain one. Just don't pay any attention to that and go over to the next stitch and that will be your double crochet and just do a slip stitch right there. Just like that. Now you're going to chain one more and we're going to go right back into that same space and we're going to do a double crochet and in the same space one more so that's two double crochets in the same space now we're going to jump over to the next stitch and do one double crochet and now we're going to jump over to the next stitch and do two double crochets in the same stitch And in the next stitch, we're going to do one double crochet. So that's the pattern for this row. You're going to do two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, and one double crochet. And at the end of the row, you should have 36 double crochets. And I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. You should have 36 double crochets. And now we're going to come over here and slip stitch on top of that first double crochet we did. Okay, now we're going to do the head. We're going to chain one. Now in that same space, we're going to do eight double crochets. Go in the same space. You don't want to do these too tight because you don't want your head to be really small. So you have one, two, three, four. And one more. Okay. 
Okay, so when you have your eight double crochets, you're going to jump over to the next stitch and you're going to do a slip stitch. So it should look like this. Now you're going to chain one, pull your yarn and fasten off. And you can weave your tails in later. Okay, so now we're going to do the feathers. And you're going to count back seven stitches. Let's see. To attach your orange yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm using a pumpkin color yarn, but I can see in the video it's not really showing up real good. It's more orangey. Okay, so when you get your yarn attached, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and chain one. Chain one more, two, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're going to go in the same stitch and we're going to do seven double crochets. You know what? I'm sorry, I forgot to do the pico. Let's see, one, two, three, four. On top of the fourth one, I um I believe it's called a pico. You're going to okay do your uh, four double crochets, and on top of the fourth double crochet, we're gonna chain three, just like that. Now you're gonna come down here, and you're not gonna go through the top of the two loops there. You're going to go right in between them and pick up the one on the left and then you're going to go right down underneath it and get that loop. So it'll look like that. Then yarn over and pull through all three of those and it will look like that. I'm sorry I forgot about that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. Let's see if we got four. Now we need three more. Sometimes I just go too fast and just forget. Six. And here's seven. Make sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now, after your seventh one, you're going to go into the next stitch and do a slip stitch. Just like that. And we're going to go to the next stitch and do another slip stitch. And now we're going to start another feather. You're going to chain two. And hopefully I don't forget about the pico in this one. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just do four double crochets. And four. Now I'm going to chain three. Now I'm going to do my pico. I'm going to go right in between those two loops. And then I'm going to go right into the loop right here. Just like that. Yarn over. And if you have difficulty doing it like that, you can go through just the top of the two loops. And now I'm going to do three more. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. And you're going to do two more of these. You can do as many as you like, but I um 
I only did four because I just thought it looked better. I did five and I took one out. So go ahead and do that and finish your feathers and I'll meet you when I get two more feathers. Okay, I finished my last feather. I'm going to go into that next space and slip stitch. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to fasten off. And there's your feathers. And I always take one back and one forward. And this is what our turkey should look like so far. So now we're going to do the beard. And I'm going to change to my four millimeter hook. Okay, right here. Here's our first double crochet. Let's see if I can find it here. Well, hold on a sec, just a second. Okay, I had my stitches too tight and I couldn't really find the hole, but here's your first double crochet we did. And here's this double crochet here to the right side of the head. There's this little space right here, right there. That's where you're going to attach your beard. Just like that. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to pull up a loop, chain one, kind of keep it pushed over. Now you're going to go right back into that same space and do two single crochets. And now we're going to go right back in there and do a half double crochet. And now we're going to do two more single crochets all in the same space. Okay, now we're going to do a slip stitch in the same space. It's going to get a little bit tight. Now you're going to chain one, and I kind of pull it over and kind of bring it to the back. Oops. Hold on a second. Let me do my slip stitch again. Well, I've got my yarn tangled up or something here. I'm going to do this last single crochet again. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to do my slip stitch. I'm going to take it to the back. I'm going to chain one, pull my work. Now I'm going to fasten off. <laughs> Sometimes when it's tight like that, it gets hard to see what you're doing. Okay, and then bring it back to the front. And you might have to work with it a little bit to give it some shape. And there is your beard. Okay, I went ahead and weaved in all my ends. So now it'll be easier to work with. So now we're just going to do the nose. 
or the beak, and we'll be through. Well, except for the eye. So on the right side of the head, on the second one, two, double crochet on top of that one, right there, that loop, you're going to attach your yellow yarn, or you could even use orange. And try to get the knot over to the right side. Okay. Now you can insert your hook in there. Pull up a loop. You're going to chain two. I'm going to try to pull it down over that knot. Okay, so now you're going to skip this first loop and then that second one. You're going to do a single crochet, just like that. Now you're going to go right back into that same space and do a slip stitch, chain one, pull your yarn. and fasten off. And kind of pull your yarn to get it the shape you want. I'm going to have to work on mine. My knot shows. <laughs> and there's your nose. Or your beak, I'm sorry, I keep calling it a nose. And there's your little turkey. And um, either do the bubble eyes or you can take a piece of black yarn and go through maybe, I guess, the third double crochet or between the fourth and the third double crochet, like attach to the fourth and come over and bring it through the third and then bring it to, bring it maybe two times through. These would look so cute on your Thanksgiving dinner table. And I hope you enjoyed my video today. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.